Hey, welcome everyone to this video. In this video, we will be talking about how you can get Grok API key and use it to your environment. So many people, especially students, are facing difficulty on how they can actually use those API keys and how they can get that API key, especially from Grok and Gemini. So in this video, I'll be demonstrating you on how to get that API key from Grok and also how to use it in the environment. So let's get started with the video. So the very first thing is you go to your preferred browser and just search for Grok Cloud. And the very first thing that you'll see is home uh, Grok Cloud. You just click on that link. So if you are not logged in or if you are not signed up, you'll be um, asked to sign up. And uh, it's a very simple step process. You can continue using Google. You can use email or any, or any other preferred medium that you feel like, right? So I'm already logged in. Uh, so that's why it's showing me some of the API users that I already had done. And you can also see upgrade, dashboard, manage API. You also see playground, docs, and manage team. So uh, if you scroll down, you'll see all the models that you can play around with. I'll, we will not go there, through that uh, in this video. But our focus should be here on manage API key. So you have to click here. So after clicking there, you'll see the list of API key that you have already generated. But for this case, I'll create a new one. So create API key. I'm going to name it something. Let's say tutorial grok and submit. It will give me an API key. I just need to copy that and hit on done button and we'll go to our workspace. So after I get back to the workspace, so there are certain steps that I need to do to, um, you know, work in the local environment. So one of the most preferred choice is creating a virtual environment. So let's create that virtual environment, PNV. Okay, so I've created the virtual environment already here. Let's try to activate that, activate. So you can see that the environment is activated. So just to check, if there is any other dependency that uh, we do not need in this environment. So yeah, you can see that there is no other uh, dependency that we um, do not need in this space. So one way to do, there are multiple ways to, uh, you know, put your environment key in your environment. So I'm going to go, go through both of those. Firstly, let me show you one of the um, easiest way to do it is basically when you are in this environment, which you already activated, you just need to do export grok API key hit uh, uh, equals to and then paste the API key that you have copied from the Grok Cloud. So after you do that, your API key is already loaded in the platform. So just to taste that, I'm going to use the code provided on the documentation that they have done. So I'm going to go for a quick start. You can see we have followed the same process that is exporting the API key. Now all we need to do is we have to uh, install some dependency in our environment. So let's do that. pip install Grok. So while it's installing, I'm going to copy the code that they have provided for testing. So I'm going to paste it here. So if you look at the code, there is only two library or package that we have, uh, you know, imported. That is OS and Grok. So OS is responsible for any file path related thing. So we'll be using OS because that is going to fetch the API key from this particular environment. So remember, guys, when you, whenever you select any environment like this, it will create a new set of file path. And uh, you just need to find um, through the OS. Uh, library. So that is a very powerful tool. And you can see uh, we created a client using Grok object uh, or basically we created Grok object. And inside that we have passed the os.environ.get and with a variable that we have set it as an export. Now, if you try to run this, let me try that. It should be fine and working. Let's see. Okay. So now you can see here the result is getting um, generated or is being generated. So we have given a context saying that explain the importance of fast language model and it gave, gave, gave us a result already here in the form of chat. So it's the simplest way to actually load your environment key. And the other way, uh, which is the most preferred way, whenever you see projects like us, we, we always give you an ENV example, right? So inside ENV examples, you'll see all the API keys that, that are required for the project to run. So for this case, you can just use Grok API key and you go, you just, you just have to create a dot env file and inside that you have to create this variable and put the environment there so let's try to do that in our project so i'm going to fetch the api key from here just copy this part and i'm going to create dot env file here and paste it right here so we just simply um announced or you know um like put the uh, grok api key in the dot yeah, env file now after we do that we need some python library to actually get that environment from the file path. So, or let's say folder structure. So for that, we, we need to install some package called pip install python dash dot env. So you just need to import that from, from dot dot env, import load 
dot underscore dot env so this is basically a function that we can call so let's call that function load underscore dot env with the parenthesis that, that is going to execute that load dot env and this is going to pull all the environment key set it in the env file so you can see uh, you already got recommended so let's set a variable for that grok api underscore key equals to os dot environment get or grok api key and then we just need to declare that variable or let's say call that variable inside the API key. So why we are doing this is basically we are trying to create a modularity and understandability on the code, uh, which is give, giving us a good over overview on what the API key is all about. You can change the variable key as well. If you do not like rock API key, you can put any other name and then let's try to execute that again. Okay, so let's try Python grok testing. So if everything is working fine, it, it should give us an answer. So you can see here, it, it has given us a answer that is required. So yeah, I hope you understood the video uh, um, context, how you can get the API from Grok and also how you can keep those API keys in .env file and also export it in, into environment. And I hope you will build, uh, you'll find it easy uh, to build your own projects and wish you all the best. 